SMT Nation, we back. Nation, we're going to be talking about Verizon and their um, their broadband ambitions. Talk about them as a home internet provider. Uh, they're actually a rapidly growing home internet provider. Uh, this is not hyperbole. Uh, I think with the exception of maybe T-Mobile, they're the fastest growing ISP in the country. Uh, the reason I say maybe T-Mobile is because T-Mobile has been adding about 500,000 or 550,000 on average per quarter. Verizon's coming in just slightly below that. Uh, they do own and operate fiber to the premise through Fios, but that just doesn't grow that fast. But I think it needs to be said here, fixed wireless access, really putting a dent into home ISP growth with respect to uh, cable and home ISPs in the traditional sense. But uh, let's take a look at what Verizon is doing, what their future within this industry looks like, and kind of what this data tells us here from this article from Telecompetitor. I'll link it for you. It'll be in the description for you to follow along to. And of course, if you want to support the SMT YouTube channel and show your appreciation for all the content here, you can support us as well. The links are in the description. All right, so according to Verizon, right, with respect to their broadband net ads, uh, they're on pace to add 400,000 net ads for home internet each quarter. A majority of those are going to be fixed wireless access, obviously. BIOS, I, I want to say they've been adding, you know, between like 40 and 50,000 quarterly. It's not something that grows fast. It does grow. Uh, it's a great product. Uh, the, net, the net promoter scores are really good. But, you know, they just don't grow the service. It's, a, it's a, not something that they typically expand very quickly. Uh, but with respect to total connections on fixed wireless access, Verizon has 2.5 million customers now using the 5G home internet. Uh, we'll count the LTE home internet too as well, uh, which should be on 5G shortly or whatever, soon. Uh, but with respect to usage, a lot of people have had concerns about the usage. Uh, looks like the typical Verizon customer utilizes 300 gigs of data per month on 5G home internet. So that's, that's kind of low. That's actually, I think that's lower than the T-Mobile home internet customer, which I think is closer between like 500 and 700 gigs per month. So I'm not sure why that's the case, but that appears to be the situation. Uh, with respect to the network itself, you know, Verizon has now reached 230 million pops of its C-band, you know, 5G layer, you know, N77. And, you know, that covers a lot of people. That's a, and, and they're fair game to leave their cable ISP and go to Verizon. Uh, since 2020, uh, Verizon has deployed 57,000 fiber miles, 51% uh, of the cell sites are on their own fiber, and 76% uh, of the U.S. pro sports venues have 5G ultra wideband, and and we're talking about, you know, the whole, we've been following like the VRAN situation, 15,000 cell sites are ready for that and enabled. There's a lot of things that have been going on at Verizon preparing for this type of networking demand, and it looks like they're pretty ready to move forward. Uh, with respect to the rest of the build, the rest of the way through 2024 you're probably going to see the 230 million pops move up to probably closer to 300 million pops in the next year and a half that's going to be the goal do they get there i don't know i i know that you know getting to 250 275 million pops is a much tougher slower process but they have more tower sites to upgrade by the thousands right so that means those folks at that time can get the 5g fixed wireless access so there's more customers to take and the customers that they would be taking are easier to take because they would be taking them from places where they've never seen competition, right? So we're talking about rural America. We're talking about places that likely don't have a competitor. They have one option. A second option comes into play with a fair price. And it might even be Verizon's cellular customer, right? It's going to be easy because of the price point with the bundling. So expect... Uh, continued growth with respect to 5G home internet. Expect continued, uh, you know, accelerated build out of the network uh, to more places, uh, more modernized and upgraded networks across the country. I think, uh, you know, the, the, the number of cell sites is going to continue to accelerate. They're going to build new cell sites and densify as well. Their CapEx is still hanging around $18 billion annual, you know, which just barely places them behind AT&T in spending. Uh, but they're dropping a lot of dough on this network, folks. And uh, this project will continue. Interesting stuff, though. Right, guys? Uh, tell me what you think. Sound off in the comment section below. 
You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard.